Hey, thanks for joining me again today for this video. And no, the title of this is not quick. This morning and picked up a new rifle. It's another Henry. This one's a 22. And I literally only have 40 bucks tied up in this rifle. And I'll explain how. star of the show not really an unboxing because i didn't unbox it and checked it out this and seems to be in perfect condition i haven't found a scratch blemish anything wrong with it i have not fired it yet though that'll be a test and i say it'll be a test is the first video that i made about henry's was about my big boy brass classic 44 magnum which got sent back to Henry a couple of times for uh, light primer strike and cycling issues. And their phenomenal, beyond phenomenal customer service department got everything squared away. And I've got probably 140, 150 rounds through that rifle since I got it back. See room in love rifle. with that rifle is an understatement. So now we're back to this Henry 22 and how I got it for 40 gun bucks. shop I shop at has uh, periodic uh, fundraisers for my county's DSS guardian ad litem. Guardian ad litem is children who have been taken out of abusive or neglective situations in their home and are now in custody of DSS. People who uh, are guardian ad litems help see after them, check up on them, take them to do things. Like right now, this fundraiser is getting prepared for the late this summer on the back to school supplies and things for these kids. And so they can take them shopping. And uh, usually I get in on these raffles. Uh, it's for a good cause. I've never won anything in my life. But uh, I usually get in on these raffles and it's like $10 tickets. On this raffle, I bought, uh, that's kind of hard to put together, raffle, raffle. I'm glad I didn't eat waffles. But uh, on this one, I bought four tickets, 40 bucks, and never won anything. I told my wife, well, it's for a good cause anyway. Lo so. and behold, I get a call from the owner of the gun store telling me that I was a lucky winner. Here we are today to discuss the rifle. Like every Henry I've ever owned, man, this wood it is smooth. and I mean, it is beautiful. The fit and finish is impeccable. Not a scratch on this rifle. And overall first impressions is I'm impressed. I have uh, five 22 rifles. Oh, well, should I say I have two 22 rifles. Uh, my kids have taken over the others. And uh, my main squeeze 22 rifle up to this point has been a early 80s Remington 552 Speedmaster. Now my Remington Speedmaster I acquired some years ago a buddy of mine thank you brian he needed a he wanted a 38 snub nose carry pistol and i had a 38 feather light taurus that stayed stuck in a holster and in a drawer for years so he had this little beauty this is a early 80s remington speedmaster 22 i love this little shroud right here when it ejects a bullet shoots the bullet forward it's pretty cool and i like the way that you charge the gun you load it through a loading tube and then on the left side you have your charging handle and i really dig it but it's a it's a sweet rifle it fits beautiful i have a pretty long length of pull and it's like a full-size rifle and it's just great these things it's the only american-made auto loader ever built that shoots 22 shorts 22 longs and 22 long well, rifles. i can pretty much already tell you i'm gonna love the uh the henry but for it to take first place over my speedmaster uh it's gonna have to be one heck of a gun so let's see 
I'll fire a few rounds for you out of the Speedmaster and then we'll load the Henry up and send a few down range. It's always fun to shoot. Now let's see what the new Henry can do. I can't get over this this uh, little Henry. Boy, it's small. It's, I tell you, it's it's a lot more wieldy than than my Speedmaster. My Speedmaster is like the size of a. If you're familiar with a 742 Woodmaster or 7400 uh, B caliber rifle, 273 out six. That's the size of that one. This one is, it's a pretty sweet. I love the side on there. I'm still, I'm probably gonna have to go fiber optic. I did on my big boy 44, because these, these things in low light are hard to see. But we'll see, I'm gonna give it a good chance, good try. Do I right, let's see. Oh. I'm shooting a tiny little AR-500 target about that big, about 25 yards away. Man, that feels good. That is as much fun to shoot as my big boy 44 mag. I love it. My goodness. The only thing is... I bought a box of bullets while I was up there picking this up for the 44 mag and 50 Fiocchi bullets, just 240 grain hollow points. It was $64. I spent over $130 on two boxes of bullets. $130, I can shoot this thing for a week. Well, with what I have already, I can shoot this thing for a month but that's another story. Just discovered why this rifle is so small and handy. It is a model H001Y for youth. I dig it. I think I now have two favorite 22 rifles. There she is. Yeah, I like the heck out of that. I don't think I want a bigger one. That is so freaking handy. And the, oh man, the, the quality of this thing is unreal. I'm gonna start cutting grass again this spring. Oh, Lord, Leroy, what happened to you? Bunch of wind, apparently it took Leroy out. Walking down here to my little target range. And you see what I was shooting at. They're all AR-500 plates. I uh, put them on a piece of threaded rod. So it's, everything is easy to replace and quick. Uh, and add more to it. Just stuck some 4 by 4s in the ground. But these things were 4 before 4 mag to death with that Henry Big Boy. That's what I was shooting at a few minutes ago. Yeah. I've got... Up on the mountain, I don't think, yeah, you can't see them from here. But I got three more up there, and they're at 80 yards. You notice when I started shooting the Henry, I fired the first round, and then just squeezed the trigger on the second round after shooting that Speedmaster. 
<laughs> Fancy about this channel, folks. I don't delete nothing out. Don't edit Quick nothing. Little side note. See the shirt I'm wearing? I'll put a picture of the back here. About got it perfected, folks. Uh, we're about ready to start giving some shirts away. But I need some subscribers. We're going to give them away at subscriber counts. I've changed my mind. I'm going to do it every 500 subscribers. I'm going to give away a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, or a hoodie. Just con all you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment your size. And tell me what you'd rather have, a hoodie, a t-shirt, or a sweatshirt in the comment. You got good news, folks. Oh, Leroy volunteered for duty today. Appreciate your help there, Leroy. too shabby now for a rifle i just took it out of the box 10 minutes and now for a public service announcement hey we're seeing right here folks 98.2 percent of you folks that are watching these videos aren't even subscribed come on help a brother out i got 1.8 percent of the people subscribing hit that subscribe button i greatly appreciate it thank you Nothing for the road. I love it. Hey, check us out. I didn't know this was a use model. I love the crap out of it. I thank you guys. Uh, I really appreciate you all the comments. I'm going to have a video coming up where people have been answering or asking questions and giving comments on my email. The email is hunting number four hookers at gmail.com you have questions anything you'd like to ask any topics you'd like to see shoot me an email and we'll get it covered for you figure out where i'm pointing here these iphones i keep looking at the screen instead of looking at the camera anyway i appreciate y'all and don't forget to like and subscribe and comment share this on your social media if you think some more of you folks would like to see a hillbilly having fun y'all have a great day love y'all peace